Greetings and welcome back, Roboteers, to Robocraft! After a fair while of uh, just a bit of a hiatus, really, I have been recording other games, and as much as I know that there have been a couple of updates to Robocraft, I didn't really have the time to properly pour over them and give them the attention they deserved. So I put things onto the back burner, but now we are returned, and uh, we are returned to this. My poor Megabots, they are no more, my beautiful, beautiful creations, alas. There is no Mega Module, the Mega Module has been changed into the Power Booster, it no longer allows you to have Megabots, essentially, it doesn't, like, boost your CPU limit, instead, it will reduce the time on powers, so, for example, the Shield Module and the Blink Module, they'll just charge faster if you've got one of these attached, that's pretty cool. But it does mean that our beautiful, beautiful Megabots are no more. So those spaces that I've got for the beautiful, beautiful Megabots can be reused. There's also a higher level cap. We can now go up to a level 150. I'm already at 103 from just logging in for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Now then. In this episode, I think we're going to take out the tried and tested Solenopsis and Victor Mark II. But with the max level increased, the max CPU limit has also increased. It can now go up to 1,750, I believe it is. Which means that we're going to be able to continue to evolve the Solenopsis and Wichter. We may be looking at a Solenopsis and Wichter Mark III in the fairly near future. And that is actually something I'm very, very excited about. Now, as for what we're going to do. You know what? Well, let's just jump out into a battle and see how things go from there. See how... Uh, what kind of bots we're going to be queued up against. At this point, we could easily be queued up against people who, who are higher level. And that has not been the case for a very, very long time. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of fights we're going to have. <clears throat> right then. We've got a couple of premiums on our side. Quite a lot of premiums on the other side. What on earth is that? That looks like an interesting bot, to be certain. Good luck. Have fun, everyone. I believe there is a dragon over yonder. It looks awesome. No the robo. I must see this dragon. Begun. Let's go and have a look at it. It's got lasers, uh, sorry, missiles on the back. Hello, missiles. No, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, it's a ship. It looked like teeth. It looked like teeth. That, that's, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Now we're gonna switch to our plasmas first off. Spotted. What has spotted us? Actually, many things could have spotted us as we moved up that area. That would not have been difficult. And let's just get rid of all of those. Now, the thing is, Spotted. how are we gonna advance? Uh, you know what? I don't think advancing up here is the right way. Let's advance in this direction instead. Switching to my SMGs for the time being. Someone blinking at you from over there? Yes, they are. Spotted. Let's just get Spotted. a couple of people sighted. We've lost one track. In a few seconds, we'll just repair that, so it's fine. Let's move on. There is an enemy just over here. Come on. That's right. Let's not charge into this whilst we're badly wounded. There we go. Let's Spotted. get in there and help out our ally Spotted. here. Make sure there's plenty of room for them to escape. No, you decided to turn at the wrong moment. Now I have no sight. Be gone. Fire all of the everything. And finish him off with regular dagger. There we go. Sorry about that. Hope we uh, managed to save him though. You're a bad, bad bot. You should feel bad. I haven't taken any damage, so I'm repairing quite happily here. You know what, I'm gonna swoop up there and go and deal with that Skylywag. Switching to my Plasmas for some close quarters damage. From that distance, they couldn't really do much damage against me. You're gonna start healing, you're already healing, right? There we go. And try and cut you in half if I can. That will do. There we are. Very nicely done. We are doing a little bit too much damage to my rump, honestly. I didn't like it. Evacuating this location for now. Ouch. Ah, oh, drew straight into a wall. 
That's not a good place to be. Let's help out there. And that is going to really hurt when those things reach me. Let's keep on the move. Nope. And we'll swing down here. We've got one enemy making a move over there. It's going up and around. We'll meet them. We'll go join Mato Bobo. Is it Mato Bobo? Yes, it is. Mato Bobo 2002? No, less. Alright, let's see. Are you gonna stay here? Yes, you are. Fantastic. That plasma volley on the Solon Lobsters in Victor is a great opener for a battle. Then switch immediately to the uh, SMGs to finish them off because the plasmas will take a long time to reload or for you to generate enough power to use them. Uh, let's see. I wonder if the power booster just affects your overall power rather than any kind of esoteric special abilities. Just flat out charges up your um, power a little bit faster. I need to get in there. All right, they're coming. There we go. Let's keep you sighted. There's the other. Nope. Nope. Try and hit you a little bit from here and there. No, I'm not going to be able to get up there and help, unfortunately. Do a little bit here and there. No, we're probably just going to be able to hold them off for a little while. Nope. Uh, there's no way that I'm getting up to them. Absolutely no way. That... Did a little bit of damage, but not appreciable. Let me see if I can get up maybe around here. Possibly catch one off guard, but that's about all I'm going to be able to do. The Solar Ops in Victor is not a climber. And there's no slope shallow enough for me to be able to ascend. There we go. Let's try and get those rotors, shall we? Got a little bit of damage. Not enough, though. Focus on you, though. There we go. Doing... A little bit more damage now. Don't like that at all. Thank you, but no. Oh, you still smacked me in the nose. You scoundrel. Right, third position. Damsor did pretty well. Two kills, one assist. 174 healing. 3,511 overall damage. That was actually not bad at all. Oh, I, I missed someone saying hello to me. Sorry about that. Right, well... Let's jump back. You know what? I am wondering if maybe I should add a little bit of something to the Song of the Director. Maybe a wee heal beam. Something just tiny. Tucked away at the back, maybe. Um, I mean, possibly in exchange for this. The Song of the Director. Getting the uh, extreme information on enemies does help. But I'm not sure it really helps enough enough to be worth it in the end of the, at the end of the day let's have a look at uh, the nano guns what kind of cpu load are we looking at here mm, yeah we can easily fit one it the problem is getting it to fit in so let's remove these build this out i could have used the uh, mirror mode for those who uh, have asked how does one get it to mirror on both sides you simply press x though it is rebindable you can rebind it to any key that's particularly comfortable for you. Mm, that is a pain. I'm going to have to see if I can get some sort of block there to hide that little detail. And let's add this in. Can I get it? Yes, I can. You know what? Fine. We're going to go with this. Um, should we perhaps use it? Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that one. I mean, I guess... Let's have a look at some of the other colors. We could make it orange. It would make sense in a way, but at the same time, I feel that the uh, heel gun should be a different color for some reason. It should stand out versus the rest of the bot. Um, no, not brown. Red, maybe? Red's a bit garish when you uh, couple it with the orange, I think. The blue, though... Is equally really, really quite. It stands out in the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, we're getting silly now. Uh, I guess we could just go with orange for now then. But that'll just uh, afford me the the ability to heal my allies when I'm reversing around an area. I think that'll be quite nice actually. Okay, let's jump into another battle. This time, hmm, battle arena.
Let's see if we can't get ourselves a good battle arena game. If this takes me a little while, I will cut her out and I will bring you back when the match begins. Okay, that did not take very long at all. Right, let's see how this one's going to go. Good luck. Have fun all. I'll also adjust my microphone. It seems a little bit low. There we are. Now, the thing with Battle Arena that I like, it, some might see it as, is, as a negative, but I actually like the fact that it's a bit more random. I, well, there's many things about Battle Arena I like. Oh, I love that little truck. Oh, that looks amazing. That truly looks amazing. Right, swapping to SMGs because at the moment it'll be long range. But I love it. It looks like some something you drop on a hostile alien world. Or maybe it would be a, a scout vehicle. Deploy it on a planet. It can just fabricate a factory. Start taking over the planet. It would be great. Maybe rest control from the natives. If there are natives. I mean, mostly it's, it's there to go and take undiscovered worlds. But if someone else already owns the world, then, you know, whatever. Let's just drop all of that up there. That would have been a Your solid hit. So uh, get these people. Uh, yeah, that's not going to hit me. So that hit me, though. That hit me quite well. Wow, you've got some fantastic shelling ability. don't like it at all, though. I'd rather it stop. We're going to reverse a little bit. Does anyone need any he healing? No. No time for now. Right, there we go. Ah, oh, good. Someone's got a shield up and running. Alright, let's see. Get you thing. Unfortunately, my tracks seem to have stopped. That's odd. The way they... I'm pressing forward, but it seems that when they first heal, tracks are all kinds of messed up. Let's get in here. I can probably help with a little bit with the healing, but honestly, here I just want to do Daka. Giant Daka, small Daka, Daka Daka, any kind of Daka, really. All the flavors of Daka in one place. Hello. Thank you for spotting that one. Also you. Try and knock you out of the sky. Oh, that's going to be gone. Swapping to my plasmas. Come on, poke your head out. No? Yeah, I'll just deliver everything up there and hopefully I can hit something. No. Alright, well. Let's duck aside. Super round if we can. We're not really doing many, much capturing of towers right now. That is a bad thing for us. Hello there. Ah, oh, you already got him. Scallywags. Hello. Well, we're just going to tuck in here for the time being. I'm going to switch to our... Oh, taking a bit of Daka. Nope. Absolutely not. Stop it. And get rid of those guys. That was just really naughty of you, honestly. Really naughty. Unnecessary, in my opinion. Let's swap to my heal beam. Let's keep this going. Oh, we need to get you. Let's try and get you up. There we are. Let's get you back. Wow, the Solon Officer Victor is not used to being a healer. This is this is a brave new world. The dawn of a new age. You really need to not be there anymore because I've run out of energy. But there we go. Oh, that's going to hurt me. Don't want it, thanks. All right, let's move on. We're just holding this position against really nothing. We need to be taking their base. Right, you belt there, everything. Ah, oh, really? Someone off in Victor. You've beached yourself like a whale. Ah, okay, we want to not be here. I've been pinged, but uh, that shouldn't be too hard for me to deal with. Hello. Oh, you're so dead. Literally dead. Now, I would very much like this thing to not be here anymore, honestly. Just pop this, shall we? Deny them any towers whatsoever. There's really no reason to let them have any of it. Pop that one. There we go. So, ouch. Ouch. That's just mean. Mean and unnecessary. Okay, swapping to plasmas. Nope, not gonna happen. I'll just hang tight here for a moment. We'll pair one of my tracks. And there we go. We're ready to roll. Let's get up there and help our ally. Hello. Oh, you really don't want to be there. That was a bad place. Your bottom fusion tower is under attack. Now we've got a bottom fusion tower under attack. That's not a great thing, all things told. Hello. 
I'd like to blow you up. Ideally, lots of death being applied. Unfortunately, you are going to be a pain for me, aren't you? You are. How you climb that wall with such a heavy component? Well, I, I've actually helped by shooting it off, I guess. But, oh well. Let's get out of here because there's no point in me being so exposed. Alright, let's swing back. You're ready to go. Go! Ping the enemies, please. Don't just leave them there. Right, you know what? I can just move in, take a shot at their crystal, I suppose. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. And just deploy a lot of Daka. Recharge. And again. Your bottom fusion tower Can we is get him pinged? No. Not easily. No, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to sit here and shell. Actually, no, I'm not. Okay, let's... Uh, probably going to die here, honestly. But we'll try. That's what you get. You did well, though, to fight me. But I really need to not be here anymore. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm gone. Yeah. That was, uh, we bit off a lot more than we could chew. That bot climbing up there, that's actually pretty, pretty amazing because it has wheels and it's, what? Oh, blink. Considering it's wheels and it's, uh, got a missile launcher on the back because they're very weighty things. But we did a chunk of damage, we died once. I'm a little bit sad about that, honestly, but, oh well. One death in a battle arena is not a big thing to worry about. Well done for taking that out. Oh, really? It would have, would, I would have been uh, respawning then anyway, because that's when we took the tower. Alright, what are you up to over there? You're going for one of my allies, I think. There's someone up in the skies, and I don't like it. Okay, they're dead. Good. Hello. Nope. Spotted. Nope. Absolutely not. Be dead. Be dead. Die. Stop being alive. Hi. Uh, go for the exposed rear. Go for the tracks. Try and disconnect your black cannon. Oh, scoundrel. Oh, well. It's better that you did that, actually, because we can't defend the tower. Like, it doesn't regrow. Oh, does it? Actually, no, I actually think they do regrow after a little while now. So it would have actually been best if I kept it there. Oh, well. Last one for the future, that one. There we go. All right, moving on. To be honest, the enemy are putting up a good fight, but they are massively outmatched in this one. I'm not sure if it's player skill or just player rank. Could be anything. Hello! Let's just shoot these bits off, shall we? If I can... Ooh, you've got the advantage here, I fear. Yes, you have. I've lost all of my ability to fight. And I'm gone. Well done, though. That was a good little uh, engagement there. I should have prioritized the weapons a lot sooner than I did. The shields really helped there, because a lot of my plasma was just absorbed by the shields. Ooh, you've got your little uh, proto-seeker shotgun. Very nice. Those those railguns. I would recommend you hang back and recharge for a little while. Two deaths. Now that's getting a little bit nasty. Spotted. Starting to feel like I'm uh, letting my team down a little bit. Oh, incoming! Tower is under attack. There we go. From that kind of range, you can just fire the missiles unguided. Spotted. It won't matter. Alright, let's uh, go straight down the missile, I think. Uh, the attack. middle. Straight down the missile. I'd rather not go straight down the missile, honestly. Alright, that's our bottom tower. It's under attack right now. Okay, there's an enemy. It's going to be dead before I can get there. Drop a couple of shots and didn't hit a single one of them. That was terrible. Using plasma at that range can be a little bit odd. I'm used to firing the plasmas uh, sequentially with a small pause in between. Gives you a bit more of a idea where they're going to go. Because you'll tend to fire a whole spread together. So you're going to pepper an area. Whereas these are 
kind of more accurate, but, or at least that's my experience with them. So it means that if you've launched all of your plasmas and the first one misses, probably all the rest of them are going to miss as well. But we can, we can put the enemy out of their misery at this point. I don't think there's really any need to prolong this battle. Not bad, though. Good game. Unfortunately, no one said anything but me. Alas. All right, let's see where we all stand. Fourth highest. That's not too bad. Eight kills, two deaths. That's quite bad. And only three assists, though. Did a little bit of healing. Uh, a reasonable amount of damage, but not, not as much as I was expecting, honestly. I feel that I need to definitely tweak the Solnopsis in Victor. It's not getting the sort of top threes that I am accustomed to, and that, I feel, is a failing. Failing on my part. I need to make it better, faster, stronger, etc. But that's going to be it for this episode. In the next, we'll probably delete both of my Megabots, because there's no point in having either of them. And then rebuild a new bot there, or I might just take out uh, one of the one of the oldies, either the armadillo or the skyplow Mark III. But I do fancy building a bot from scratch. Maybe trying to build a bot around the idea of the Proto Seeker, so actually make the kind of shotgun missiles a a bit of a feature of it. It won't be the only weapon, but I'm thinking that that might be a good good plan to go with. But that's going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed, and if you have, do consider leaving a like on the video as it lets me know that you'd like to see more Robocraft in the future, and a comment down below if you have any feedback to leave. But until next time, do take care.